listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready because the Lord is coming one day This is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, Israel fears anniversary attack at the Olympics. According to Ynet News, Israel has voiced serious concerns that Iran may try to stage a terror attack against Israeli athletes competing at the 2012 London Games. The coming Summer Olympics, which will kick off on Friday, mark the 40th anniversary of the Munich Games massacre, which saw terrorists kill 11 Israeli athletes and coaches. What can be seen as the regular concern of terror attacks against Israelis worldwide has been exponentially amplified following the attack on Israeli tourists in Burgos, Bulgaria. Second today, Turkey sends missile batteries to Syrian border. According to agency France Press, Turkey sent batteries of ground-to-air missiles to the border with Syria on Sunday, boosting its firepower as rebels in Syria seized several border posts. As fighting raged in Damascus and Aleppo, rebels were said to have taken control of three crossing points on the border with Turkey, which is sheltering thousands of Syrians who have fled the conflict at home. Third today, Iran threatens to attack Tel Aviv, according to the Jerusalem Post. Iran threatens to attack Tel Aviv, according to the Jerusalem Post. A senior Iranian cleric said Iran will attack the heart of Tel Aviv. If Israel, if Israel attacks the Islamic Republic's nuclear facilities, the Islamic Republic vowed to make Israel regret any attack against the country. The comments came as Israel accused Iran and its proxy, Hezbollah, of responsibility for an attack in Bulgaria in which five Israelis were killed. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Mark 13, 7, And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in divers places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. In closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty-four forty-two: Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Dear friend, if you are not ready, may I encourage you to get ready, and here's how. Please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws. The Bible says in Romans three twenty three, For all have sinned and come short. Of the glory of God. Please also understand with me that because of your sins you deserve everlasting punishment in hell. 
Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death. This is both physical death and spiritual death in hell. Now that is the bad news. But here is the good news. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you are willing right now to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation from hell, please pray with me this simple prayer. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart the best way that I know how that Jesus Christ that died for me was buried and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you were sincere in that prayer and you truly believed in your heart that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose again, then you are saved. And allow me to be the first to congratulate you on doing the most important thing in life, and that is trusting Jesus Christ as your Savior. I guarantee you that you will never regret it. Now, let us join together in the prayer of John the Revelator in light of what we've heard today. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. God bless you.